Yo, what's up, bars? <clears throat> Shout out to the U. Can't spell us without it. Representing Rare, Seven Cypher. Let's get it. RD. Let us not forget our last battle was for compliments. But for this event, it's the polar opposite. You my man's for real, but now I'm going to make you my bitch. RD. Does it stand for real dumb or reckless demeanor? To be honest, I don't think it's either. Because you seem smart and methodical when you move. So I'm just going to call you a retarded diva. <laughs> Can't you see this bitch stupid people trying to be fire and get a match with Ether? True, you lived through the first match, but you dying in the sequel. So after I cremate you this round, the next clowns is going to have to earn your feature. You got bars fooled. Acting like you a top tier plate when you a fucking mistake. You are bar fooled. Fucking nuts to be facing me, dude. <laughs> but I'm telling you this much. It takes guts for you to do stunts in gay movies for Ravish and Rick Rude. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> he got acting chops and stage presence. So I guess for you to be in hip hop, you got to act a lot and stage presence. You call it progression. We call it pathetic without a question. You're trying to move the culture forward, but now it's the Great Depression. But the lesson I'm giving you is that you're doing the same thing to hip hop that the Christians did to other groups. Like taking the lane and giving it a new name and trying to put your spin on it. Make it look nice. And say this is the right way because you in on it. Trying to shove that bullshit in our ears and tell us this the wave for us to get on it. <laughs> Man, that's some slave shit. Cultural appropriation in front of a disgruntled nation. That's some brave shit. Nah, that's some lame shit. Saying you can do the same shit the same way we can do it and ride that wave. Nah, you turned that to a slave ship. And we not falling for the same shit twice. I feel we've been fighting our whole life like Miss Sophia. Now I got to fight for some shit that we made tight from you and your people. <laughs> and this ain't no racist shots. Nah, because you made that apparently clear in your statement on our first battle so I can take these shots. Like Martin Luther. Nah, like Kennedy. But no, I feel more like Malcolm. Because when them shots came out of him, it felt worse. Because it went from his enemies. Get it? You a friend of me. But that bullshit you was spitting, it's offending me. And it's crazy to see, you don't even like gun bars. <clears throat> when your only contribution to rap is heavy metal. That's, <clears throat> that's when y'all go hard. But we rock heavy metal where I live. Not for the music, because we know hard. So before I finish you, and then send you to another place that y'all culturally appropriate to a dude who resembles you. <laughs> Once you get there, tell him what you did here. And you know what he gonna tell you? To your face. Fucking disgrace. You should have never fucked with dude. Rare. Fuck out of here. It's gotta be odd to rate this. Six time defending 24 7 champ Bars Messiah against some nonsense underneath God's greatness? Don't let the acronym jet fly by ya. Snug represents the letters. RD just gets him on the flyer, but you have become a frequent flyer. Bank and rep points for my rhymes and a diss track loss to a greasy gap tooth meathead that I've defeated three times. Because what you just spewed was more off time than the bars model standing in a dancing line. And your response left us feeling more awkward than if no she stepped to foul flashed her bits he looked her in the eyes and cold cocked her like the fuck we do now. I'm required to inquire what your aim is with your decisions. You won the banger tourney, then claim that you're the champ of the division? Dismissing Steez and his submission, sitting wishing you were me? Cause this one tracks another loss. Don't be Zod 2 with number 3. 
But watch this actor flip the script and use the letters in his name to go spastic. My ocular senses see snug, spreading, simplistic, subpar pseudo symphonies. Never necessary nor noteworthy, nothing is nostalgic. Unsuccessfully utilizing urban unity, gradually generating generalized garbage. How's that for some alphabet gymnastics? Now, freestyle is something we need to mention. A style that truly seems beyond some people's comprehension, so please don't take this next bar purely as a dismissal, but how in the name of pink polo shirts did you lose to Benny Bizzle? I mean, it was late for him, too. That's no excuse. Just confess that he whooped you with less rest than R. Kelly looking at underage breasts. I mean, you rapped about him having bad hair. Damn, the despair from that loss left you stuck in a rut. Because it's sheer facts that your bars are what didn't make the cut, so I'm not worried about this title. The gold will always be safe with me because like those before and the ones who've yet to attempt, you're just a slave to my bar's legacy. Time!